things arrived today. Well, I knew about this stuff. Of course, I asked the shops to deliver today. But Mary's book's arriving at the very same time. Wasn't that funny? Oh, not down there, darling. I want you to take that through. A new chair? Yes, it's a special one. But it's miles too big for the baby. <laughs> it's a nursing chair, George. Your mother paid for it. Well, let her sit in it. No. <laughs> well, we haven't got room for luxuries. A nursing chair isn't a luxury, George. It's got a little drawer down here which holds nappy pins and cotton wool and so on. And it's lower than an ordinary chair. That means it's easier to get into and out of when you're holding the baby. And it's the right height for bending over the bath. It's got its own bath. <laughs> Don't say it's, darling. Well, what's wrong with our bath? Well, it's very difficult with a full-size one. He could easily slip out of my hands and go under the water, and that might put him off baths for good. Well, he's going to be off them in a few years anyway, so what's the difference? <laughs> Just take the chair through, will you, George? Oh, but what's that? It's a nappy pail, George. Now, yeah, well, be... that's a nappy pail. What's that? It's a bucket. What does it look like? It looks exactly like this. Without, without this. <laughs> the bucket is for filling and emptying the bath. Now, oh, Lord, we haven't got a hump gallons of water about, have George. we? George! Well, all right, all right. But, I mean, why do we need two buckets? Why couldn't that have been used for the bath as well? Because that's what the nappies will be soaking in. All the time. 